Welcome back, everybody. I have an idea. You know how dangerous that can be. You know, me having ideas and whatnot. Pretty, pretty crazy. Oh, dude, there's a treasure chest up there. I hope I don't forget about it. Alright. So. I gotta. Gotta be quick here. Alright, get it. Get it! Oh, shoot. That was close, boy. Um. Crap. Hope this works. Please. Please go in. Come on, man. You can do it. Yay! I'm number one over here and stuff. Alright, we got that. Let's figure out how to get the, uh... Treasure shields. I think that it's actually pretty easy. I think I just need to do that. But I am scared of this laser, so just in case, we will block it. Oh no. Oh god. This is an interesting perspective. Hurry up. A spear. I got a spear, everybody. Oh, jeez. Okay. So. We did it. Good. I'm tired. Alright. Ah, uh, cool. I got a spirit orb. Like, I don't care. I've seen this cutscene a million times. So, anyway. The prince asked us to come here. We were gonna go to Hatino Village, but... You know. You don't refuse a, a prince's request, now do you? So, we're here, we're gonna help him out, and now we're meeting the king. Hi! Hi! Yeah. Good morning. Oh, it's a, a mart. Cool. Ah. Um... No, I'm good. <laughs> I wanna talk to this guy. You. Hey! You're a Hylian, aren't you? It's rare to see your kind around here. As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch shock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. Why not? That's what Prince Sidon said to me. Oh, that was kind of rude of him, wasn't it? Yeah, kind of. You know what? I just want to go talk to the king. So... Excuse me, everyone. I do not mean to be rude. Also, this place is a pain in the ass to traverse. What? What? Okay. Uh, yeah, don't touch that. Whoa, you're a real big fish. What's up, bro? You're cool. That guy's cool. So, Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorefen, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object upon your waist. It's... is that not a Sheikah Slate? Hmm? Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it's all too clear who you are. A pirate. You are the Hylian Champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link. THAT Champion. Oh, it's a different dude. So, that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. 
I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Come again? You say you've lost your memory, but surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa. Yes, you do. Do you not? Doesn't ring a bell, bro. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. How close were we, bro? Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zor's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorafran, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzo, I expect more of you. How can you still protest? Muzo. It, <laughs> getting all crazy now. It is rude to speak that way to your king and his guests. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. I shit myself. Oh well. It is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. Fuck you, dude. Link. Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There, Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Hmm, the divine beast is crying out once again. Why does he have to be so far? Snap. Oh, snoozles. Um, is that the divine beast? It's pretty crazy looking. I like it. The Divine Beast, Varuta. Your princess, Zelda, often studied the Divine Beast, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who was quite shock resistant for Zora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. That is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. 
Link, I am certain you've already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course, please. Hero, I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I, um... Only choice. What? Princess Zelda herself instruct you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So then Princess Zelda is still alive. Yes, in Hyrule Castle. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered. It is true, but if we can regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous, naturally. I shall help, too. You really like that pose, don't you? Once it is stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. I'm in. Let's do this. You guys got any armor? Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Yes! Thank God! You actually did give me armor. Custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation's Zora princess for her future husband. Okay, it'll give you the ability to swim up waterfalls. So Link, as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dorafen, surely you do not really intend to give the outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princess have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mif had no such relationship with him, so why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Hmm. <laughs> that Muzo is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Hmm. What shall we do now? I, t I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Varuta. But now he has rushed off in a huff. <sighs> Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Side on. I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzo is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Holy shit, what a long damn cutscene. Go, like, right down here to talk with him, or what? Because I'll do that. Where are you? Please listen. I don't care what you say. Hi. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. Ooh, it's getting spicy. What? No! All the girls love Link. You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was never, he was ever in Mifa's heart. I mean, I guess she is kind of hot for a different species. I, I mean, what? Nothing? I don't know. Oh, Link's getting a little, a little hot and bothered. You remember Link? Oh, he's remembering all the sexy times. I mean, what? Who said that? Dude, you're such a player, Link. You're just lounging around with princesses. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time. 
I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Damn, Link's such a boss player. Even though that's weird as hell, man. Interspecies romance. I don't know about all that. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm, are you quivering like a hatchling? Whatever is the matter? Mifa, I remember. Rarf! Do not mistake me for a fool, Eileen. There's no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now's the time to show it. Do so, and I, and I, I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows, yes, and well as anything else you wish to know. Uh. The stubborn fool. Lucky for us, we have proof. Link, go ahead and show Muzu the Zora armor my father gave you. Oh, yeah, dude. Good idea. Let's put that shit right on. Boom. What now? Look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Mm -hmm. You really think changing your clothes is gonna make me. Eh? What in the. That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even for the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Huh. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. <laughs> I would never have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from Hylian, but I suppose it's our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwanted behavior towards you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. Thanks. That tall mountain over yonder, far as hell away, is called Ploymus Mountain, and there you will find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to Azora. Aha. Huh. Uh -huh. You must mean that Lionel. He is a man beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious to be sure, but I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate you will need at least 20. Do you think you can gather that many? Who do you still doubt? Him, Muzu? I have no doubt that he will triumph. Okay, Link, let's get going. The fastest way to Ploymus Mountain is to ascend the waterfalls east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall basin and then go up the waterfall from there. I'll wait at East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock arrows and then come join me. I'm on it. <laughs> Wonderful. Together we shall stop that Divine Beast onslaught. All right, that was a lot of cutscenes. 
That's all the time I got for today, everybody. But uh, we're going to do all that crazy jazz on the next episode. So thanks so much for joining me. And I will see you guys then. Look at the way Link just fucking stares down Muzu. He's like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, old man. Fuck you, bro. You got something to fucking say to me? Something to fucking say to me? I didn't fucking think so. I fucking think so. That guy's a bitch. You're cool. But that guy? Not cool. Uh huh. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Whoa! See you guys next time.